Okay, um, following up the uh, case video I did with an assembly video here. I'll warn you ahead of time, not very good at YouTube videos, um, but I'll do my best here. Okay, so when you get the uh, Atom Echo, it's going to be in a case like this. It's going to have to come out of that case. You can flash this while it's in the case, or you can flash it after it's in here. Uh, well, after it's uh, soldered and stuff, you can't flash it in here because you can't get it at the USB-C port. You can only get the charging port. But you can pop this open. You can flash it. Um, however, I'd go ahead and flash it before you put it together because it's printed out of SLA resin. You know, a um, little brittle, uh, especially particular types of resin. You snap that open and shut a bunch of times and that snap is going to wear out. Um, Alright, so when you've got this thing, what you're going to do is you're going to want to slit through this label here so you can get it apart. And you're going to pop this thing open. You get your fingernail or a screwdriver or something in there and you can pop it open pretty easy. It feels like it's going to be real difficult, but it's pretty easy. feels like you're going to break it and then it just pops open. Okay, a um, couple of things. The um, wiring diagram shows this in the case and it shows a button off to the side and a bunch of stuff. All you need is this board, this guy, and um, switch battery. Um, all right, so for this case, the uh, speaker and stuff sit, and the speaker and the dev board sit in this half. Power sits in this half. This kind of holds the whole mass together. Um, all right, so after you pop this open, kind of remember this orientation. Keep this piece handy if you want to refer to the JPEG of the uh, the wiring diagram. You know, you've got this to reference what headers these are and stuff. Now, to get this to fit in this case, because I want to make the case as small as possible, I pull this header off here. I'll show you that in a minute. Other thing I kind of should point out is don't pull this speaker out by the cables or um, I mean you can but I wouldn't recommend it I've destroyed one of these already because these cables uh, these solder joints here are really tiny a couple bends back and forth and they pop off so you want to go easy on those so just pop that out like that it pops out real easy carefully straighten these out and then don't bend them around too much because that speaker will fall right off if you bend it back and forth too much. Now, take note. Here's the little clicky button that actuates the thing. That's what that button in the wiring diagram is uh, um, substituting for. That wiring diagram is for a bench top version before there was a case, it looks like. And then somebody designed a case. The designed case works all right, but doesn't really back stuff up. It's easy to push the... Um, dev board back inside it unless you like glue it in place or something so that's that's why i added this thing so this can't you know you can take it apart you can take this all out and you don't have to glue anything um and it still works um this is like this is very snugly held in place okay so a couple things to note here Let's see if I can get this to focus. This header right here, that's the header you're going to be soldering to. But we're going to solder to these first two pins. Um, I'm assuming you already know how to flash Arduino and stuff. I'm not going to explain that. I'm assuming you know how to solder. I'm not going to explain that. Plenty of competent YouTubers that um, can tell you how to do that sort of thing if you don't. This first pin here is ground. This is for 5 volt power. That's uh, are going to go to the 
first two pins on your board, your power board. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to yank that header off. Just bend it until it comes off. It comes off pretty easy. It just will vibrate it like, like, move it like that, not like that. And it should work up. You do it like that and you're going to, these pins, you're, you're going to be bending them back and forth and they could, you could break the metal or you could fatigue it. So you're going to, uh, let's see here. Come on. There we go. So you're going to grab it by the ends, move it like that, and pull it upwards. Okay, so these, this is ground, this is power. Oh, come on, stop that. These two, don't worry about. In fact, just cut them off, they're not in the way that way. Just make sure you cut off the right ones. You're going to wind up with something like this when you're done. And these are nice and easy to solder to. You're going to solder these. And you're going to want to put a heat shrink over them. But you're going to bend them over first. I've got one already soldered up. I'll show you here. What you're going to want to do... is after you solder these you're gonna kind of try to bend them up here so they're flush you don't want to just bend the bases down because those tend to snap off and you can still solder the board but it's gonna be real pain in the butt so like what I did and it's easier to grab them with some needle nose pliers or something before you uh, put the heat shrink on grab them with some needle nose pliers and bend them down and try to bend them at a bit of a right angle um, so you're like bending where the wire meets the top of the connector nice and sharp um, that's harder to do with the heat shrink on plus if you're grabbing it with needle nose pliers you could like pinch a hole through the heat shrink so do that before you heat shrink put your heat shrink on then you can solder to this board okay now so before you solder to that board you're going to want to put the switch on this thing right so these little switches well i wish this thing would stay focused got six legs on them you're going to cut three of those legs off now only two of these get soldered but the third one doesn't get in the way and it kind of helps locate it so i just leave it on um so, if we're looking at this here, just one second. If you're looking at this here, this, this switch is going to like sit like this here. And you're only going to have uh, three pins. So, let me show you the easiest way. It's kind of tough in the helping hands, but I found an easy way to do it. It's just snip three of these legs off you don't have to snip them off but it's easier to assemble without them because they're not in the way and then you put the switch in place here flip the board over put it on top Might have to take it out. Okay, so what you're going to wind up with. Oops. There we go. So what you're going to wind up with is something like this. Come on camera, you can do it. The switch, come on. Switches in the hole there. 
the uh, micro USB is in the port just roughly lined up and uh, so it's like this so now that it's sitting in place you can just come in and solder it from the back side set it down like this take your soldering iron just touch off there and there now you only need to solder two of those you can solder all three it's not going to hurt but after you solder you want to cut them off nice and flush because this backing plate is going to be pushing on that and if there's those legs sticking out the case isn't going to want to close together properly so what you got after you solder it okay so we've got oh come on how do youtubers do this so we've got ground on that first pin 5 volt on that second that runs down to here 5 volt on that first pin ground on the second and then the switch. If I show you from the back side here, you can see the pin out. Come on. There we go. You see that pin out there? Pause it, get a good look. And you can see only two of those legs are um, soldered. Those are the only ones you really need to solder. But like I said, I'll leave that third one on for the sake of alignment. And then you're gonna, after soldering, you're going to trim this all real nice and flush. And I saw this whole thing from the back side just because it's easier. Um, and you're going to plug the battery in as well. So after the battery's plugged in, turn it on. Make sure it works. If you haven't flashed this yet, this LED here is going to be white. If you flashed it, it's pink. Okay, so now that that's all together, here we're going to put it in. This is a little tricky, I'll be honest. Um, all right, so first thing, we want this. And this cutout here, that's the micro US, oops, micro USB side. So this sits in here like that make sure it's in there and uh, so that switch oh come on so that switch sits right up against this thing and uh, if the switch is a little crooked um, it's you can just bend it back into place it's not that big a deal because i mean those legs are relatively sturdy and uh here's your power leads so these these are going to go here battery leads are going to go here and uh yeah after that you're going to flip it over now cable management the first time around, if you take this apart, second time it's a lot easier because everything's all mashed into place. First time around it's a bit rough. You're going to see where these battery leads come up. You see the shape of it here. So the battery leads come up over here by my pinky. You're going to put the battery in like this now the thing about these batteries is this should be a little bit loose in here if it's tight check your printer settings or something this shouldn't be tight batteries need a little bit of room for expansion or it's extremely dangerous if this is tight don't use this piece uh, it's a explosion and fire hazard uh, you always want to leave about 10% of the thickness of the battery for expansion. That's what that big cutout in this thing's for. Um, so, yeah. If you're printing this, if you figure out how to print this little piece FDM with like dissolvable supports or something, just make sure. Because um, that tends to kind of like, you tend to get undersized holes and stuff like that. Um, if they're oriented with overhangs, just make sure that's not a tight fit. 
last thing you want is some little spiky bit of solder on the back side of this to push into the battery and catch fire. Okay. I absolve myself of all responsibility. This is for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be legal or medical advice. Um, yeah, okay. So, now when we're looking at this, this thing holds the speaker in place. This boss here, and then the uh, echo sits in here, kind of not exactly like that. More like okay. Yeah, it's easier to show you when it's in the in the case. One second here. Okay, so. Here's the top shell of the case. Here's all this stuff. Now the speaker goes in here with the cables. Come on, you can do it. The speaker goes in here with the cables on this side, like that. like that. There's a cutout right over here for the cables. You want to make sure those kind of go through the cutout. And then this board goes in like this. So those cables go check that cable path because it's going to be a little tight. You don't want to pinch those cables when you put this thing together. You want them to to, to uh, go kind of like north of that little metal disc and then th to that cutout into the rectangular area. And that rectangular area is where the board sits. You want to make sure the board fits in there. It's going to pop back out as you put it together. Make sure the board fits in there nicely. Um, USB-C matches up with that big cutout there. Hold it down with your finger. Make sure you feel the little button click while this is pressed down. That means everything's oriented right. The button is under the little part you push here. All right? Okay. So, now, this It's a little bit tricky here, especially the first time when the cables all want to do their own thing. This has got to go together kind of like that. So that, that boss right there pushes on the back of the speaker. So what you want to do is kind of like settle it in place like this. You don't have to get it too exact yet. Put your thumb on settle it in place oh come on focus there we go it's hard to look at this little camera screen get this right um and push it down like that put your thumb on the battery here hold things in place get the cables back where they're supposed to be Sometimes this goes right together and sometimes it's a real pain in the butt. Okay, there we go. What we got is this. See that thing's on the back side of the battery? Um, cables are in their little slots. I grab them so they won't pop out. Put my thumb here. Now it's going to kind of want to try to push apart. Now this piece you want to line this up with this and the switch you want to be a little bit careful here the switch hole needs to line up with the switch what you're going to do is very lightly assemble this i'll put that down over like that and you're going to look around the edges and you're going to make sure this this slot matches up with the little bump there. There's a little screwdriver slot for popping it apart. You're going to make sure those are lined up. 
you're going to hold it snug. You're not going to push it together yet. You're going to look up here. You're going to mm, you're going to wait for it to focus. You see that switch isn't popping through the little switch hole. So you're going to kind of have to like massage, kind of move things around, get that switch to come out of the, the switch hole there. All right. And then once the switch is in the right place, now you push it lightly together. If you feel any major obstructions, take it apart. Look, make sure you're not pinching any cables. But generally then you can just snap it together. There you go. Turn it on. Turn it off. Um, yep, so... There's our uh, our charging oops charging ports lined up switches lined up this is clicking turn it on and we're ready to go so yep that's how I put it together let me know if you got any questions I will likely be tweaking this design and improving this design I'll probably make an FDM printed version um, so yeah. Uh, let me know how it works out for you. And uh, yeah, feel free to comment or uh, I'm Shunyata00 in the uh, Open Interpreter Discord. Feel free to message me in there um, in the hardware channel with any kind of requests or anything like that. Super busy, but if I can, I'll, I'll knock it out.